Hello, everybody. Welcome back for more pocket monsters. We now have Wordier unlocked. Oh my god, he do be quick. Take out my adorable balloons with your Pokemon. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. Hey, you have the rare ability to dash over hill and bale on the back of a Pokemon. Why not try your hand at the balloon race, a game I invented myself? Simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You managed to bust, say, 17 balloons. Well, that'll be an impressive start. Ah, uh, yeah? Okay, let's go. You and me, chump. Let's go. Yes. 30 balloons in 45 seconds. Okay, let's go. Ba -ba <gasps> They're Drifloon balloons. Dash. Yup. 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 Just gotta keep dashing, baby. And keep dodging Pokemon. <gasps> Oh no, I have to jump for that one. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna hit my 17 at least. Ah! Huh, gotcha. Says my 17. I'm gonna be mad if I get 29 and I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Good hop. Shoop. Shoop. Ah! Oh no, I missed two. I missed three! I'm terrible! Okay, I can do that. I believe in me. Welcome back, you burst 27 balloons! You're so close to busting them all, a little reward should help keep you motivated. Three mushrooms. Give me another go. And I complete the quest. Rare candy and a feather ball! <gasps> 15 feather balls! Uh, I want to go again. Yes. Come on. Hoo, hoo. Crack the neck. Stretch out the shoulders. Two. One. Go. Yeah, okay. That one was definitely high in the air. I don't know how I missed that. Shoot. Thank you. Give me this. Give me this. Slow down a second. There we go. Jump. Good stuff. Give me this guy. Give me this guy. Just keep running. It's fine. Screw the Paris. Just run right into him. This one. This one. This one. Got it. That's a big boy. That's all 30, baby. Two seconds to spare. What do I get? Give me your finest reward. You burst 30 balloons to perfection. You popped every single balloon. You're definitely a boon burst bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. A nugget. Nice. And a rare candy. Double nice. Thanks, bud. Hello. Um, okay. We, we got my word here. He doesn't like being stuck in that corner, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, this might be bad. <laughs> okay. Everything went black. Can't do that. Oh, no. Not my rare candy. Damn it. Seems you were rescued. Damn it. I would have definitely rather kept the rare candy, I think. Oh, I can't throw a Pokemon while I'm on the word here. Okay, well. We can take a small break from him. Now, we died, like, right here. Can we collect our own stuff, or do we need to get someone else to do it? We need to get someone else. It's a Pikachu. You know you want the banana. Cut it out, you prick! What about the orange berry? You like the orange berry? Okay, you like the orange berry. Oh, 
Right in the back of the head. <laughs> Okay, well, I tried. Oh, I tried. Try all the time. Ow, oh, those electro bull. <laughs> hey, bud. Have you come across a tree shaking swings because of Pokemon up in the big tree eating the berries? You guys want to chill out and leave me alone? If you don't mind? Would you please? Okay. Let's go back and see if we can't catch that bigger tree. And how far is the range on these things? Quite far. You fucking kidding? He was definitely not aggroed. He was also facing the opposite direction. But whatever, fine. Regular Pokemon. Run back into the grass. Gotcha. We got a Pikachu. Beautiful baby boy. Hey, yeah. Shit. <laughs> now, can the word cross like little bits of water? No, he cannot. Okay. Good to know. The doof. The doof. It is kind of dumb you can't throw a Pokeball while on the word here, but you know, I guess it's whatever. You can climb the cliffs with relative ease though. Not these ones, but some of them. Excuse me, I'm just gonna sneak up here and then up here. And then I'd like to go around here. Thank you. Now, I'd like to see if the Scyther Nest is back. It is back. Let me just kind of jump off this guy. Now. Seriously? What's even the point of these fucking things? They don't work. Like if I need to be close enough that I could use a Pokeball to catch them, then what's the fucking point of them? I guess it says they're good for Pokemon that are in the sky. But like, look, see, I can just... That was the wrong button. Poor move. Get in the ball. <laughs> yeah, if it's just too far, it just doesn't work anyway, so... What's the point? You know? That one's definitely seen me, so I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at that one. Please get in the ball. There we go. That's four Cyphers. Hello, sir. I've come riding the mighty Moonworm. Yeah. So you say you galaxy people came up with the method to try to quell the Lord Cleaver's frenzy? Yeah, I did. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? That's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, you're inventive enough to blows me away. I mean, now that you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we can provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. 
Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favourite plump beans. I've pawned them. Brought them as promised. God, that's right, my apologies, Zero. I'd forgotten all about you. I'll admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I have my doubts whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values, so prove to me you're worthy to stand in presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokemon balls, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as my sister, as one of my blood. Glaceon is you. Okay, fine. the worst thing to have out, I don't think. It's faster than me, but that's not a surprise. Ooh, we got strong style confusion. Ooh, I can use a weak style confusion. Skidoosh. And that'll let me go again. And then I think we just go for a poison powder. Quick attack, yeah, that's fine. Haha, uh -huh, get poisoned, idiot. Oh no, gets to attack again. My poor boy, I don't want him to die. Send him a main man, Sparks. Shwoop. Oh no, not Swift. Ow. Spock, you really are kind of shit, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I just go for the strong style fight. I'm pretty sure that'll kill. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Bada ba ding, bada ba ding, bada ba ding. Ooh, lots of new moves across the board, baby. <gasps> I see now, Pokeballs are simply tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think, let me see your Pokemon wins. Hey, yeah, fix them up. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? I'm gonna, like, get them in my hand and I'm gonna crunch them. So because you'll ha have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleavor's favorite food together, ball them up and quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So we've developed soothing balms of sort to calm our lord. Very well, if it'll help to soothe Cleavor's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. I mean, a little overblown, but alright. Badum. There, a veritable mountain of balms. They should please Cleavor if anything can. Now then, ready yourself. I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Okay. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, so it isn't yet time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you. Reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen, Melkaz, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Crusher! What? What? Look at him go. Oh my god, he's fast as fuck. Oh! Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. He's so quick. And he's very golden. Claim victory against no Pokemon called Frenzy will have to throw bombs until its frenzy reaches zero. Much credit in opening its defenses, you'll be able to send your Pokemon to battle against it. I see. Oh. Uh, do battle! Show Cleavor your power. Ah shit. Bad choice. Never mind. Just go all in. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Wait, Stealth Rock does... What? Stealth Rock isn't a damaging move. That wasn't very stealthy at fuck at all. Okay, so he must be a rock type? Rock bug?
Okay, let's send out Noodle. Guess if we use this Aqua Jet, Skadoosh, and then we get to attack again and use Super Aqua Jet, Skadoosh. Bam, he's done. Gotcha. Four bombs. Poof, poof. Just nail it. Right in the butt. Oop. I'd rather not. I think I'd rather just throw the bombs. Oh, owie. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Weasel, get in there. Weasel did well last time. Do it again. Go, my little noodle. Uh-oh. It's gonna hurt. There we go. Aqua Jet. So if I do... Yeah, no. So I don't want to do that. Do a Water Pulse. How's he doing health-wise? He's dead. Throw the bombs. Need him. Ah. What? Hit the tree, idiot. Never mind. Oh, run. Absolutely nailed him. Stupid Cleavor. And... Bonk. There we go, he's back to normal. Damn, that's some EXP. New moves! Poor Dustox though. Hello, Cleavor. How are you? I got the insect plate from Cleavor. Thanks. Raw. Now, the question is, is Cleavor not just a Scyther? Like, an evolved Scyther? I thought he was a Hisuian Scyther, to be honest. But there's Scyther here, so I don't know what happened. Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease? Does this confirm the strange lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning indeed was almi the almi Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then, were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with his plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokémon that might harm us. Would Poke power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Kaz accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. We've come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy. Please help them. Hmm, yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider my apology if I haven't spoken really to you earlier. What is it? More balls? Citrus berry. That's it. Three citrus berries? That's what you give me? I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. I mean, he was fine. Bit 
Cover. Okay, I was kind of hoping I could just bonk into the tree. Oh. Uh, I really didn't want to fight them. I just wanted to get off him. I'm not even here. I'm still not even here. <clears throat> oh, okay, you are regressive to me. Fair enough. How foolish of me. Got him. Anyone else want a piece of this? Ooh, shiny rocks. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Ah, crap. Shiny rock, shiny rock. Go shiny, 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 shiny rock. Boom, boom, boom. Get it. Thunderstone. Now we're talking. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, we got more butterflies. Can I nail him? Bam. I did get him. Okay, I caught him as well. Even better. Skadoosh. Thank you. Just gonna keep catching beautiful light during the day, apparently. Except for that one. That one's mid. Ooh, I haven't caught one of you yet. Like, I've got one of you, but I haven't caught one of you. Missed. Got him. The doof. Doof is fucks. There we go. Oh, hello there. Oh, damn it, he left. Oh, oh, that's new. These guys were very much so not here before. Please go away. I don't really want to fight you either, bud. Literally, all I want is for that Zubat there to fuck off. You done being a shithead? Yep. Nope. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill you. How about that? Look, you wanna fight? We can fight. Get ready to be bit. Skadoosh. Get out of here. Freaking ding dong. Okay, let's throw a nice berry over there for that guy. Maybe good. Okay, we got one. I'm content with one. Chup. 
Hold on. I would like this, though. Yoink. Beautiful. That's how you do it. More combis. Don't really want more combis. So, like, anything over here I do want? It is very foggy. Oh, that's a Baneri. Uh, what's your name? I don't know. Weird degenerate Pokemon that people love. Well, okay. Weird Pokemon that degenerate people love. That's better. There's nothing inherently wrong with the Pokemon itself. Just the people that like it. Okay, you know what? Bam. Bam. Missed. It ran. Come here. Come here. Come here. You really got to cook it for a second first. There we go. <laughs> There's no one over here, Combi. You just got to settle down, bud. Oh, come on. Fine, you do you, whatever. Huh. Huh. Thank you, thank you. They were both backstrikes, so I'm pretty confident. You gotcha. Um This is probably enough Pokemon, right? Like, I don't know if we really caught anything new, though. It's the problem. Okay, well, you get to die. I guess, you know? Gotta do something. Uh, I'm just gonna area slash you. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the honey. You ain't got no money, honey? Then we got your disease. Welcome to the jungle. Nailed him. Hello, sir. Yeah, I need to catch one more. Okay, I caught my one Dostox at night, though. That's a chief. Or an entry, I guess, not a chief. One of you. One of you. Never mind. You used to sleep in Psyduck? I think you are. Damn it. Every time with the Psyducks, man. They're too good. But I can't help but notice that there were a few new Pokemon that spawned, so maybe that means that... Seriously? You're like half a foot deep. That's absolutely bullshit. Like of the highest caliber. You can take that. And we can run up here. We can grab this one too. And then we can jump up here. Wait. Bonk him on the noggin. There we go. We got another Zubat. Golbat. You want some berries? Yeah, he like it a berry. Shit. A little bit too eager. I'm just gonna ignore you. Goodbye. Um. Uh, you have a berry? 
I don't care, just go away. Let me catch this one. Got him right on the back. Go away! Okay, look, we're done here. I don't think we've seen all these before. We've been in this weird little cabin before with the Paris. Cool, we made it up here. I mean, there's a glowy ore up here. That's not bad. Probably worth grabbing. Um. Okay, there's an iron ore here. It's not actually iron. It's a whatever. But, you know. Still worth grabbing. Now, what I'm wondering is, is there anywhere we can explore now that we couldn't explore before? Now that we have this mount. Um, I don't know that he's supposed to be up there, to be honest with you. Like, he definitely is up there. And it is funny. Can we see any other cool landmarks around? Not really. Like, if we get over here... We might be able to fight this guy. No, I think he's slightly too far away. Come here, you goon. <laughs> nah, not a chance. Worth a shot. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Well, I can open the map. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm um, taking me to the Fieldlands camp, please. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do one of those, I think. Can I report your findings? Yep. Skadoosh. Um, a little bit of pokey. Did we get enough for a level up, though? That's the real question. And we... 350, 300... Yep, we sure did. That's a rank 3. Okay, I'll do that. You called Lord Cleaver, you say, Oh, well done and bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. Ah, crap. I was going to end the episode. <laughs> Hello there. Again. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? <gasps> Are those two of the fabled plates of old? Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you were given the plates when you impressed Wydere and Cleavor. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It's my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Yasui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. And speaking of until next time, for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!